Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Mom, up, J baby? Flesh Tanks. Look at his shirt, guys. Show him the shirt. You know yeah. what's up. You know how yeah. we roll. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, back at the house again. I just want to show you a couple holding tanks that I got here at the house. This is just where I bring plants to put them for a day or two before I ship them out. I've got a lot of plants to ship out, but I did want to show you a couple new things that we got. Look at the red swords, guys. The red flame swords. Look how wicked those are. These things are wicked. So, yeah, big old red flame swords in there. We got some big old melon swords back here. These things are massive. Some golden Ladelia. These swords aren't going out. These are just kind of chilling here. Got a bunch of Nubius now. You can see I tie them to stick there. That way they grow the way they're supposed to grow. That one's already flowering. Come in and get your Nubius now. You can see we're in the greenhouse, guys, just getting this thing set up. It's not the biggest greenhouse in the world, but we got a lot of tanks in here. And really the whole idea of this is, I mean, as much as we'd like to keep everything in our house and keep it simple, it's just not possible because we got too much stuff, guys. We got too much cool stuff to bring you. So, guys, look at this. Starting to grow immersed, which is, this is parenthesis. You can see how red this stuff gets, guys. Oh, this, all this stuff's actually going out tomorrow. This tank will be empty tomorrow. We get in the immersed growth stuff. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna hold it in submersed growth tanks for a couple weeks before we ship it out, so it goes through the initial shock of, you know, of going from immersed to submerged. I uh, guess we could talk about these tiger nearite snails, guys. We got these in the store too. They do great, you know, eating algae. And I just got them in the, I got them in the shrimp tank right now because there's plenty of algae in this tank for them to eat. And they're actually doing a kick butt job of cleaning it so i'm probably gonna have to put them in some other tanks just so they continue to have some food but yeah i got a bunch of them in here guys so um get some of these tiger nearite snails i mean it, you can never have too much of a cleanup crew in your tank and these little tiger snails do an outstanding job look at that one's got a chipped shell still hanging in there though look at all the bumblebees guys i mean god it's terrible look at that i know when you're buying plants from us you're not buying them for your garden outside or your pond you're buying them for your aquarium and your aquascape so that's what we're sending to you guys just showing you a quick little update on the greenhouse door four leaf clover see all that bottom growth right there that's that's the submerged growth guys and that is that's the money that's the ticket that's what you're looking for right there stuff is wicked looking look at that that's what it looks like when it when it starts carpeting stuff's ready to go guys people who are getting this are giddy we and we got a bunch more so you guys see all the space guys that's what i'm going to save for tonight um more videos coming up actually talking fish tanks and not just store guys so i appreciate you guys hanging in there J there's j flesh tanks fired up What's aquatics up, people we're gonna be bringing you a lot of stuff as you can see you know what that's about, people. You know where to get plants. That's what we do, guys. Thanks to all the subscribers. FiredUpAquatics.net. Peace.